Sorry about that little outburst. That was my son's friend. He just came into the room. He needed something. Anyway, back on the subject here. But yeah, I feel like most of the tanks that I am driving have paper armor. I just don't have the satisfaction that I'm driving a tank. I, I just don't feel it. You know what I mean? I mean, take a shot, make it bounce. Take a shot. Okay, you can lose some life. But it's like... One shot, two shot, you're dead. Don't get me wrong, this is mile be miles better than freaking War Thunder's bullshit uh, ridge players that like to poke their gun barrel just right over a hill, wait for you, and then pull the trigger and you're dead with one shot no matter where they hit you. That game is just so awful. I mean, uh, they're trying to simulate tank battles and whatnot, but Jesus Christ, when you have... An M3 Stewart driving around because he decided to screw up his uh, order of uh, tanks in his garage. So he sees a Tiger tank. He takes one shot and toasts the whole damn thing. There seems to be an issue there, people. But you know what? That's on Gaiji. Let them deal with that crap. I, I already know they're not doing too well and they're trying to compete. But you know what? Let's let here or there. But at least sometimes in the game, if you get someone in War Thunder, you can take some shots. I mean, they have the weight of the tank in there. They got it down. Well, the tanks, they feel like little RC tanks still. You know, you have remote control tanks. You put the little batteries in the bottom, and they zip around, and you control them. You know, RC stuff. But I just don't have the kinetic feel of a tank. It's just not there. Armored Warfare, once again, if you're in an MBT and you're driving around as an IFV, or even sometimes light tanks, they hit you. Sometimes the shot doesn't do anything. Actually, there's a good chance, most of the times, if the opponent you're facing doesn't know where to shoot, those shots are just going to bounce away. Sometimes they might do some damage, but we're not talking the tank is going to be leveled and half of its components are destroyed with one shot with a tank that's coming, that's uh, firing back at you. I mean, you have the feel that you're driving a tank. You have the feel that there is some armor protection involved with the vehicle. Not in World of Tanks, it's literally one shot, you're either dead, two shots, one or two shots, this is it. I mean, but the strange thing about this is Usually the tanks that I shoot back at tend to eat shots. They eat lead like a steady diet, and it, it blows my mind because I know where I'm aiming. I know what I'm shooting at. I know where to shoot at. But damage done is, I don't know, minimal. And sometimes even subpar minimal. Now, now this brings up my next uh, bit of a... Uh, inquiry here is this uh, standard shell damage right here obviously the Panzer 4H with derp gun haha <laughs> that's so funny because the damn thing never had it <laughs> anyway but it's got a derp gun of uh, sh standard shell damage is 263 of 434 we clearly see that here in ga uh, in the garage but in game you're opening up a can of worms that could be literally anything and never 438. I have never done 438 damage in this tank. And I have a mark of excellence on the tank. I have never reached 438 hit points of damage. I've hit 263 before, but most of my shots, if I'm hitting a target in a weak spot, I mean, we're doing double digit numbers. I've had matches where I've shot a tier 3 light tank square into the engine. Now a lot of people here are going to call bullshit on this and I wish I kept the damn video or I shot this guy square right in the engine and pulled off 5 damage. 5! That seriously starts it makes me start to wonder what is going on here in this game. It, it, of course obviously mentioning this you also have to mention RNG. Oh yes, RNG. How I hate it. Now, 
Armored Warfare's RNG percentage is, from what I understand, 15%. Here in World of Tanks, it's 25%. But I honestly suspect there's more involved than just 25%. I, I want to say that number is actually a lot higher than 25. I just, I, I've had shots where I have drove right up to a tank, planted my barrel right against the side of a tank, pulled the trigger, and the shot still missed. Now, some people are saying internet lag and whatnot, and latency issues. The whole game's running fine. There's no hiccups. There's no hitches. There's nothing. Then how, how am I missing at that kind of range? Yet some guys can sit on the other side of the map, pull the trigger with a lucky shot, and bam. Now, I, I see this plenty of times uh, uh, on some of Jingles, uh, Mighty Jingles' videos when he has, like, circumflexes on there. And this guy is, like, ridiculous. The guy just points the gun in a general direction where the enemy was last seen, pulls the trigger, and they're dead without even seeing the tank. Has anyone else tried this? Have you tried shooting and guessing where a tank was by a little bleep on the minimap? Most of the shots fly way out of the area of the tank. So how does he able to pinpoint shot just like that and do damage to a tank? Suspicious. I'm not saying he's a cheater, but at the same time, I think it's just very fishy that he can do it. Uh, another video of Jingles recently had up regarding RNG was, um, I can't remember, uh, it was some type of a uh, Russian tank destroyer, uh, SU whatever it was, and the guy was just randomly placing shots across the field and actually killing people with like one hit. I mean, just randomly shooting and killing with one hit. Recently I put up a video, uh, of my flak boss uh, right on my uh, YouTube page where I was in, uh, what was it, uh, steps, and I drove straight from base, went to the first bush, and I was killed. The match lasted less than 30 seconds. It took longer to load into the game than actually to play the game. I'm sorry, that, that's just pathetic that, that's that's bad on my part maybe perhaps a little bit but come on you you're gonna tell me 30 seconds into the match the enemy already sees all the way into our base come on that, that, that's there's no point in playing then if they're already doing this but RNG I mean it needs to be toned the hell down I think it impacts are way, way too uh, significant, and it always seems to uh, affect people that are relatively new to the game, or have a basic tank, and I think that pretty much depends also on the crew that are trained in the tank. I mean, uh, I've said it before, uh, if you got a tank from a nation, no matter what nation it is, they're not going to just throw in some half-assed crew and say, go for it. No, no, they want a skilled crew. Armored Warfare's got it, right? Why can't World of Tanks do it? I don't know, it, it just baffles the mind. It's this constant needing to grind, 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 grind. And after a while, it's monotonous, it's disturbing, especially if you're getting 7, 10, 15 games back to back where you constantly lose because the opposition is so much better. Now, a lot of people call that a lie, but it's not. This is what I'm experiencing firsthand. I don't know how it's uh, over in our RU servers and the EU servers. I, I have no idea. I honestly feel that there's a difference between the games somehow. Th there has to be. I mean, I'm watching too many people over there have no issues playing the game at all and are actually hitting stuff. I ha I've had tanks... Exactly. I uh, hear... Uh, VK3001P. My crew isn't bad. It's not fantastic. 
but damn, if I was inside a barn, as Jingles would like to say, I still couldn't hit the barn inside the barn. It's, I don't know, it seems pr pretty predetermined if a team's going to win or lose. I know that's a harsh thing to say, but I have seen some really messed up gameplay that I've been part of where one side could be winning 10 to 2 and have the entire side get wiped out by two players. Skill? You know what? I'll give the players that. Skill? Yeah, sure, it's possible. You know, but still. 10 to 2? Come on. And their lower tier tanks against this? Come on. Uh, how, how much bullshit are they expecting me to actually swallow and believe? I, I hate to be sounding like a pessimist about this, but uh, I, I think I have hit my end on wanting to really want to continue on playing World of Tanks because there's no reason really to continue, is there? It's all rinse and repeat until you get to tier 10. And then if you lose in tier 10, you're pretty much boned. It's because you don't make enough credits. Uh, uh, the whole nine yards. It's just too much. I mean, if they limited the game to one tier above, one tier below, you still would have plenty of tanks. You don't believe me? Here, we'll pick tier five, for example. Let's go to tier five, the German tree, just for shits and giggles. Tier five, one below at tier four. Look at this. This is all tier four. You even have tier four over here. Look at those. This is all tier four. Here's tier five. And here's tier six. How many tanks are in here? Then you take that. Let's go check out the Americans. Tier five. You have all these. All these in four. All these in six. Uh, it, it just keeps getting more and more and more. Let's go to Russia. Tier five. All these. All these. All these. You're gonna you're gonna tell me that there's not enough tanks to be uh available for players to learn? Even if it's just one tier below or one tier above? Yet you you're throwing in two tiers above? I don't know. Some tanks just can't handle that stress. And and if you're in a stock tank, life is miserable. And if you don't have a hundred percent crew trained, life is triply miserable. really don't know what else to say here, but uh, I think World of Tanks would benefit from a PvE match similar to Armored Warfare. I personally would be playing this a lot more since I'm more fond of World War II tanks than of the modern ones, you know, like Armored Warfare has. If they had a PvE match of World War II tanks and whatnot, I'd be all over it. I'd play the game. At least in PvE, you can learn. Literally, it's... World of Tanks as it is now is on-the-job learning by the most harshest extent. Imagine that. Day one job. You get in, and they expect you to do all this, 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 and this, and you make one minor mistake, it's like you're fired. And that's exactly... Uh, what's going on in World of Tanks. You don't get the benefit of a mistake. And this benefit of a mistake is magnified t 20 times, at least, in War Thunder. Good lord, War Thunder is just awful with that. You pull out, it doesn't matter what the hell hits you, you're pretty much annihilated. 